Earlier this summer, we decided to reside the shed and it turned out really good. But the inside had become sort of our junk drawer of the property. I hate to get rid of that stuff. So some stuff I was willing to get rid of. Some of it I reorganized in the building, but then what you see laying around here now, I'd like to keep. I'd like to put it in some more long-term storage. But as luck would have it, I happen to have a great place for long-term storage. It's just a little bit of an inconvenient location. This granary has an entire second floor that can be used as storage. So what I'm gonna do in this video is try to come up with a way to attach a set of forks to the backside of my backhoe bucket, make them quick and easy to put on and remove, and hopefully be able to reach up into the... This could be about as smart as putting a overhead garage door 12 foot off the ground on the backside of your barn. I don't know why I'm down on my knees. I've got a big heavy, put it on the welding table. Well, here we are, it's the next day. I finished up this welding last night. Now what I need to do is try to attach this part to the back of the backhoe bucket somehow. I've got some ideas, but I, I'm gonna be making it up as I go, just like the way I built this by putting the pieces in and tacking it together. That's kind of what I gotta do on the backhoe because I don't know how to make it, but. This one's a little snug on this side. 
I'm just going to make a precision adjustment to see if I can get that to... Oh yeah, I can do that. I'll still need to make a second pin for over here, but I think that's going to work great. So my idea is to hold the bucket off of the floor just a little bit. This way when the forks are attached to the bucket, I don't have to set this on the ground in order for the forks to be against the ground. I want to be able to hold the bucket up above the surface of whatever I'm working on and still use the forks all the way down. So that way I'm not dragging this. Get it? Makes sense. I'm going to make some uprights about 18 and a half inches. I'm going to mark these where I need to grind it so I can weld. If you do any welding with a MIG welder, it does not like rusty metal. So in my case, I'm always using old, rusty, recycled and repurposed metal. And if I want a nice, clean, strong weld, then I got to grind it down to bare steel and then you'll get a much better weld with much better penetration. So that's why all the grinding before I can weld. I think that's going to work great. So it's one pin operation and both of my backhoe buckets have the same hole in the back. So hopefully no matter which bucket is on the machine, I, if I need to use this, I can pin it on. And then it basically floats on there. So it'll work in such a way that, uh, you know, if you get the forks in a bind or they're up high and they hit something, it's got some give and some movement. And that way, hopefully I will have, be less likely to bend it all up. But I'm going to reinforce this. I'm going to put a plate across the top to make this stronger. And I'm going to put a couple gussets on the inside here to support that and make it a little stronger since all the weight is hanging from this. So I want to get this reinforced, get it up on the table and weld it all up. And then we'll actually uh, we'll go outside and try it. This might work pretty good. I put this extra half inch bar on here because I was a little short of touching the back of the bucket so I got that on there I made another pin last night for the for the latches right here Should I test it? I 
hanging over the balcony, so I can't, well, this would hurt really bad. You know, the only thing I didn't do is, and forgive my demonstration, but I didn't check the geometry of when the bucket is all the way up, if I'll be able to have enough curl in my bucket to get my forks level when they're clear at their highest point. I hope I'm close, but <sighs> now I guess we try it on the barn. I think it's gonna work. Although I would never advocate this for the use of lifting humans, right? Do it, do yeah. it, do it. No. You can sit down no. and you can lift this up. But I think it's gonna take some practice to get used to it and make it, make it work s smoothly because it, it kind of works backwards. When you move the bucket to you, it makes the forks move backwards of what my brain thinks it should. So for once or twice a year that I need to get up there, I think it's gonna work just great. Plus, we could probably find some other uses for it. So, I'm a fan of forks for the bucket. We could duct tape our butts to the ground. You guys want to go up there and unload the stuff that I haul up? One sec. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.